Hi guys, it's me, your host, Chakra Sessions with Polly Jo LeBay. Um, I'm Polly Jo LeBay. I am here at Trinity Healing Sanctuary in Western Massachusetts and um, the home of Trinity School of Mystical Energy Healing. And happy spring to everyone. I'm so excited that uh, we are starting today uh, with this new season. I am in this place of joy over the fact that it is spring. Um, it may not feel like it. It may not look like it, depending on where you are. But the energy has shifted for a lot of things for me and hopefully for you guys as well. So welcome to the show. Hi, Rob. What would you know, Polly Joe is always one of my favorite ways to start the show. Glad to see you. And hi, Margaret. I love all the little emojis that you have for spring. That's awesome. It's just such a beautiful day. And today, tonight at 6 o'clock here at um, the sanctuary, we're going to be celebrating spring. Um, and boy, I, I'm, I'm with you, Margaret. Margaret is saying, come on, spring. Um, I actually went this weekend um, to Maine. Um, it's my place to recharge my battery. Um, I love to do ceremonies there to help me move energy. And Saturday was the new moon. And <laughs> yes, thanks, Rob. He's saying technically it won't be till 1215, but that's 13 minutes away. And the perfect thing is we will be in our spring meditation when that happens. That's my plan anyways, is that we will be in it. So as spring hits, we will be clearing our spring energy as well. So when I went to Maine this weekend, um, on Saturday, it was the new moon um, along with St. Patrick's Day. So I did some releasing of old energy, releasing of um, energy that was keeping me from stepping into the fullness of my purpose, um, releasing people, places, things, whatever I needed to, um, and started that on Saturday. And it's hysterical how many things have already shifted and changed in in just a matter of it literally it was minutes for a couple things to happen um and that was just fabulous so as we do this meditation today um i really encourage you to think about all the things that you would like to change and start moving in your life because tonight you can set a really beautiful intention for that or any time today after 12 15 as rob has told us um is great because you want to do it as the energy has already, you know, hit the cusp. Um, you you want to be careful. That's why I usually do ceremonies in the evening because then we're fully in the energy when we do them. And when you're doing that, you know, this show is all about spring cleaning your energy system. We think about spring cleaning our house. We think about, you know, detoxing maybe from food and things like that. But we forget to do our energy body, which is really what makes our whole physical body, you know, work and function. Um, hi, Mary Ellen. Welcome springtime to you as well. Um, and like I said, we are going to use this energy to start clearing our own system out so that we aren't holding on to things that are stale and stuck and maybe need a little dusting off and completing because... Spring is really a time about renewal and rebirth and regrowth. And so that's what this is all about. And the really cool thing for those of you who read our fabulous Star Nations magazine, um, in the April issue coming up, I am going into detail on how to um, spring clean your energy body, um, giving a lot of different um, tips and ways to keep the energy moving. So you can check that out as well. Um, that will be out, I think, on um, like the 11th or 12th. Neshi will, <laughs> Neshi will check in and tell me what day it is that the, the magazine is broadcast, uh, goes live. It's published in April. But um, that is going to be part of my article because I think everybody could use a little cleanup and a little tuning. Um, and all of that will impact your physical health. It'll help you with your um, anything to do with your diet as well, if, if that's something that you want to clean, because a lot of people do those like detoxing 
um, juicing type of things in the in the spring to kind of recalibrate and reset their energy system. So for us, what we're going to do today is we're going to check into each chakra and we're going to see if any energy has been hanging on and is stuck in there. And as we do that, we're going to clear things out. And I spend a lot of time when I do this particular meditation or when it's channeled through me, um, I find that we tend to spend a lot of time on the third chakra, which is located right below your rib cage and your solar plexus in the belly region, because we hold onto a lot of stuff in our organs there, which then shows up. Um, oh, perfect. Um, now she says, the Star Nations Magazine, April 2018, issue 59, will be published on April 10th. Um, I knew it was near my husband's birthday because his birthday is April 11th, but I couldn't remember the exact date because I am I am not as uh, finely attuned to that as our beautiful Neshi is. So thank you for sharing that. Um, so as we, you know, go into... Um, the energy, uh, we may spend a lot of time in that, that third chakra in the belly because that is where we hold on to things like anxiety, fear, anger, um, frustration, disappointment. Um, and some people are going to have a lot of clearing in the heart chakra because that's where we hold on to even more disappointment um, and various forms of sadness and grief. Um, but people who go through things like seasonal depression, um, that is very heavily clogged in the third chakra. If you can imagine that in the middle of our belly is our personal sun, our light per se, um, that it's clouded over and it's hard to see the light. Um, from all the darkness and the darkness gathers around that third chakra and it really takes root um, You'll find that when that's occurring you may be having issues with um, you know spinning thoughts or ideas um, you know or You go from you know through a lot of the what ifs um, so if something, you know, you want to go, say, go out to dinner with friends on Thursday um, and it's like, well, what if it snows or what if it's too cold or what if my car won't start? And so you you create all this future muck um, in the could possibly happens and then they really, <laughs> you know, you're not in the moment, you're not in the now um, and all those future mucks you actually hold on to. Um, and so when you get close to that day, you have all of this stuff already blocking your day, if that makes sense to you. Um, and all of that clogging happens in the third chakra mostly. Some of it happens in the sixth chakra because it's what affects our perceptions of what's going on around us. Um, so we want to clear all that muck out of the way because we want to be clear thinking. We want to be clear headed. We want to make our decisions from our heart and from our truth. Um, and we can't do that if all our energy closets are full to overflowing with old stuff we don't need. So we are going to clean our energy closet um, as we do this meditation. So I hope you guys enjoy all of that. Um, so I wanted to check in. Oh, hi, Kimberly. I'm grateful to have you here right now, too. Um, Kimberly just had a beautiful baby boy, Bodhi, um, and her her little her little daughter, Sophia, um, is sort of like my spiritual grandbaby. Um, I'm kind of like the fairy godmother, um, and I have the privilege of you know getting to to know these kids through their parents, and it expands our healing community. So I am so glad to have you taking time for yourself, Kim Kimberly, because. Uh, you know, that can be a difficult time when you've just had a baby. We can't always squeeze in some mommy time. Um, so good for you. I'm, I'm glad you're here to take care of yourself. So as we, you know, begin to clear our chakras, um, if you haven't been here before or you haven't listened to this, um, 
you know, I'm going to be making clear clearing noises. <laughs> so those may sound like burps or squats. Um, that is me releasing energy for the entire group because um, I tune into the vibration of the group and what needs to be released. Um, that is part of my spiritual contract and my healing gift. Um, and Neshi being the perfect Neshi that she is, she just reminded me, she said, I just shared and love the show. We all need a good spring cleaning of our energy system. And so I'm going to invite everyone to like and share or love and share the show because that is how we get seen on Facebook. It's part of their whole algorithms on how they, um, they get us out there. Um, and I believe everybody can use a good spring cleaning of our energy system. Um, think about how many people around you are grumpy or angry or just sick and tired of the weather. And that's partly because their own energy isn't flowing. It's as stuck as the air in your house. Um, so let's get some of that moving for you so that you will feel inclined to, you know, share the healing energy with others because that's how we all all can help each other out and create a you know stronger healing community for ourselves and everyone around us so um i'm going to invite you to first sort of get comfortable um whether you're sitting or lying down you know really just give yourself you know a chance to get comfy um, and as you do that, you want to have your arms and legs uncrossed um, so that we don't cross our circuits. Make sure that everything is going to flow easily and gently through our bodies. Um, yeah, I'm already starting, which is cool. Um, and for those of you who like to sit um, in the lotus position, you just need to make sure that if you are crossing in that position, that it is crossed equally. Otherwise, um, you can stack your legs one on top of the other um, so that they're like this. Because um, if you do that, then you aren't crossing the circuits, you're keeping it open. Yeah. All right, and, and take a moment to just check in with your breathing. Yeah. 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 And as you're checking in with your breathing, just really yeah. become mindful of how deep of a breath you are able to take. And feel free to make noise as you release the energy to breathe out. really sets the intention that you are inviting as much air to old stuck air in your lungs as much to leave as possible yeah. begin to feel the weight of your body and your bones in your chair or on the floor yeah And we're going to call in the divine energy, however you perceive that, whether it is God or goddess, creator, all that is, universe, however you connect, we invite that to come in for you yeah. in this meditation today. Yeah. And we ask to be surrounded and protected in a bubble of love and infinite light. And as always, the healing is for the good of all and harm to none, including ourselves. Yeah. And inviting your angels and your guides, your ancestors, any elementals or animals that you would like to come in 
for you. Yeah. Any of the ascended masters or divine teachers who are here to assist you in your life and in your purpose, who carry the highest, fullest vibration available to you and to I in this moment of now. Yeah. And you may begin to feel the energy above your head or around you. Just take a moment to thank the divine energy for being here for you, to work with you. Yeah. And begin to invite the energy to come in through the top of your crown, through the top of your head, to begin clearing your sixth chakra, the one that is located in the center of your forehead. Really allowing all of your energy to be present, falling back all the distracted pieces. Yeah that may have made it difficult for you to concentrate. Yeah. Grounding the energy of the spinning thoughts and all the to-do lists that you may be carrying. Yeah. Really just allowing yourself to be present in this moment now. Yeah. Releasing any worrying. For everything will be there for you when we are done. And inviting you to Clear any energy that is blocking your intuition, your ability to feel or sense things. Clearing your radar so that you are able to sense and read the energy in your perfect, unique way. Yeah. Clearly and confidently. Yeah. The radar that connects you with other people, your environment, your home, yourself. Yeah. And all aspects of that that may need releasing. Yeah. If you so choose. And allowing the ears to open fully to be heard by others, to hear others clearly. Yeah and to hear your divine messages or receive them in a way that is even more easy for you to understand. Yeah. Removing the tightness in the jaw that occurs when we attempt to control too many things in our lives. Yeah. And instead making room for the universe to assist us in its divine wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. 
clearing the energy in the throat, allowing us clear communication with others. Okay. Clear communication with ourselves. Understanding our pure yes and our pure no. And finding ways to use it wisely. Yeah. And clearing the creativity, our unique flavor of expressing ourselves. Making room for songs to be sung, paintings to be done, dances to be danced, and business ideas to flourish. Yeah. However you express you. Yeah. Allowing that to clear away the cobwebs. Yeah. Yeah. And moving the tension and the stress that has been carried in the back of the neck and in the shoulders. Yeah. This happens when we don't listen to our inner self. Yeah. But it can be relaxed when we ask the universe clearly and concisely for help. Uh. Yeah. And allowing the energy to begin to clear in your heart chakra. Yeah. In the center of the chest. Clearing the disappointment and sadness that you may carry there. The old grief. And any issues that need forgiveness or compassion for others or for yourself. Yeah. 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 It's really stretching and making room in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And clearing our connection with our inner child. Allowing them to come out and play in the joy and wonderment that spring has to bring us. Yeah. Clearing energy for new beginnings. Yeah. Yeah. New hope and new dreams. Yeah. 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 Moving into our solar plexus right below our rib cage to that third chakra. That is yellow in color. Yeah. And 
And just imagine a giant sponge scrubbing every organ, every corner, every space with beautiful salt water. Yeah. Getting into all the places where you've stored resentment and judgment. Yeah. You've held on to assumptions. Yeah. About other people, other things. Any anxiety or fear that you've held on to that no longer needs to be present in your life? Yeah. 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 And really feeling the space in between. Releasing the old anger. Even the righteous anger. Yeah. For so that can impede our kidney function and our gallbladder and spleen function. Yeah. Turning our anger into stones. When we hold on to it too tight. Yeah. Really letting go of any energy where you have felt bullied or you may have inadvertently bullied another. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of that. You can even feel bullied by the television, by the media. Yeah. Attacked. Yeah. And just really let that go. Yeah. 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 And beginning to move into your intestines and your reproductive organs, into your second chakra. Yeah. Clearing away any stuck emotions that you were unable to express. Yeah. Fully in the moment that you needed to. Any relationships where there has been an uneven exchange or a toxic exchange of energy? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really imagining the cords of those relationships releasing. Yeah. all the toxins out of them. But any strands that are left are just beautiful strands of divine white light. Yeah. Yeah. This includes our addictions with food, money, alcohol, drugs, Gambling, internet. Yeah. 
Ja. 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 And as those release, just breathing in and allowing space for the water to flow gently. Ja. making room for abundance to flow in all aspects of our lives. Yeah. Abundance in love, in money, in friendships. Yeah. In ideas, in... Yeah. All aspects. Yeah. And now anchoring into the first chakra at the base of the spine. Clearing the cobwebs and the energy located in our foundation. That which makes us who we are. So cleansing any old trauma, any old events that may have caused us to momentarily feel unsafe, unprotected. Yeah. Anything that may have triggered the fight or flight response in us at any point in our lifetime. Yeah. Honing into the safety and security that we have right in this moment. Yeah. And allowing that to anchor for us. Yeah. And as it moves down our legs, really cleansing and clearing our connection to Mother Earth, where our true foundation lies, where she supports us in walking our physical and our spiritual paths. She supports us with shelter and food and water. Yeah. Gives us air to breathe. Yeah. And as that energy connects with the earth, either feel a cord that goes down from your first chakra all the way down into the ground, through all the layers, to the very center of the earth, or you may feel roots beneath you. Intricate roots as deep and as full as a giant redwood or sequoia tree. You've stood the test of time. And either way, allow your roots and your cord to go all the way to the center to anchor yourselves in the earth energy fully, completely, safe and secure. Yeah. And even allowing the cleansing energy to go down through the layers of the earth as we move our energy through the layers of the earth. Yeah. And really pull up the energy now of the earth mother allowing it to fill all of those places that you cleared with abundance and love and nurturing, filling you with this divine feminine energy, 
Yeah. Allowing your soul to feel nourished. Yeah. And as it moves up the legs and into the first chakra, really allowing yourself space for flexibility in your life. Going with the flow. <laughs> yeah. And allowing it to fill your pelvic floor and all of your reproductive organs, your entire digestive system, just allowing everything to feel lovingly supported, taken care of. Held even. Like the Earth Mother's energy is coming up and holding you as it moves through. I'm filling in the belly. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. Making room for your light to shine brightly and fully the way it is meant to. Yeah. Yeah. All the way up into your your yeah. lungs and your heart, filling the holy grail that lies in the middle of your heart, your personal cup. Yeah. Allow that cup to fill to overflowing so that you are filled with as much love as you are able to hold and allow that love to overflow so that you are free to share it fully with as many people as you are able in each and every moment. Yeah. And allow it to move down your arms and into your hands so that you feel it in each thing that you touch. Yeah. And allowing it to clear through your throat and your your voice and your neck, filling up through the top of your head, and allowing it to bubble over like a giant fountain into all the layers of your aura, filling your personal bubble so that you feel coated and safely protected. And yet able to be completely open and who you are without fear. Yeah. And now I invite you to Imagine anything else in your life that you would like to change. Maybe you would like to get more exercise or change your diet, or maybe you would like to get more sleep or have more time to play. Maybe you would like a new job opportunity or whatever it, it is that you would like to see created or changed. I invite you to do so in this moment. 
And in the next few days, we're in this energy of spring. It is a time to create new things and create a new pathway for yourself. For you are the creator in your life and in your purpose. And this is an opportunity for you to really begin a new page, a new chapter in your story. Take a moment of gratitude for the divine energy that has assisted you in clearing away that which no longer serves you. Yeah. For any messages or gifts that were given to you through the healing or that will show up in the next few days because of the healing. Yeah. And just gently release any extra energy that you don't need down into the earth. Allowing the earth mother to compost any of that energy to turn it into beautiful trees and flowers and food and clean water and clean air for all of us to share. Yeah. And I invite you to gently dissolve your meditation. Feel your, the weight of your bones and your muscles. Welcome back. <laughs> um, it's always a little bit different, um, but we always need a little bit of uh, cleaning in different spots. Uh, Neshi said, holy smokes. <laughs> I hope that's a good holy smokes. <laughs> I hope some stuff really moved for you. Um, there was quite a bit going on uh, for, for me on this end, so I, I'm hoping. Oh, nice. Thank you, Kimberly. She said, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you are very, very welcome. I know you needed a lot of uh, energetic clearing yourself. You were probably making noise right out while, uh, whoo, totally got distracted there. Uh, so I might as well put Rob's up. He said, I keep getting distracted away. I'm definitely going back to the archives. You're going to love it, Rob, when you do. Um, Margaret said, wow, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Um, so I'm glad you guys are checking in um yeah oh thanks thanks Kimberly thanks for sending me kisses I'm sure you were clearing with me that's what I was gonna say <laughs> um Kimberly is one of my second year students um and so she she carries a lot of energy to help clear so uh often when I have a class or a show she she's helping me right along um with the clearing so Spring cleaning uh, for your energy body. This, yes, perfect, Margaret. I'm glad you said this because I was just about to say this. She said, we'll do this again. Um, this is one that if I were you, I would, you know, star it or, or whatever you need to do. Um, but this is one that you can do a number of times. <laughs> Um, and every time you're going to feel something different because something else is ready to release. That's the really cool thing. You know, that this is the theme actually for the month. Um, and really the energy is so high for spring cleaning between now and April 1st that, you know, if you have an opportunity to do it again, I would highly recommend it um, because there's so much that, um, we can let go of if we choose to. And, you know, it's kind of like when you clean your closet, you know, the first go round, you know, you're really reluctant to let things go. 
And then the next time it feels so good to have it be, to have less stuff, you start getting more into it and you start to like, oh, that can go. Oh, that can go. And, and you let more and more go um, because you start to feel better the cleaner it is. And that's true with your energy body too, because this is like our closet <laughs> um, for our, our, actual physical body as well as our emotional body um so it's i mean it's powerful and and i recommend doing it <laughs> you know a few times so she said talk about in now she says talk about instant results at the solar plexus part there was a wrap on my door a delivery a release gift a returned gift that i gave freely from my heart a couple years ago was returned from a person who left my life last fall. Yeah, um, I did this um, meditation um, for myself on Saturday when I stood on um, the beach at the ocean. It was freezing cold in Maine, but I did this and the I had a number of things <laughs> leave my life rapidly. Uh, within minutes. Um, so yeah, this is quite a powerful clearing. Um, and if you can, you know, if something pops into your awareness in the next couple of days of like, oh, I wish I'd let that go, do it again. Um, because it's going to be, you know, quite a big thing. And um, we do energy clearing every Wednesday evening on my other show on Soul Connections at seven o'clock at night Eastern um, Standard Time, and that one has no boundaries. If you set your own intention, you can always clear anything that you are ready to release every single Wednesday. Um, I don't have a specific um, thing attached to it, and all I really do is channel that whole hour of the show, um, and. I pull messages and cards for people too as well. So one of the things I wanted to tell you guys, which um, most of you probably were in meditation and couldn't see, but at one point I had to grab an oil. Um, this one is not available on my website, but you can message me for it. Um, Kimberly could definitely tell you about this one. It's called Release Your Story Blend. That is the blend that works on you know, cord cutting. And um, the, oh, Rob said, <laughs> Wednesday nights carry me away. Yeah, they are very powerful. They do quite a bit of work. And sometimes we have to be out of our own way to have, to receive the healing. Because um, if we're too much in our brain and too much in our mind, the universe is like, look, they're not paying attention. Um, I, experience that um, my terminology is um, I don't get carried away. I actually get put down. <laughs> I usually end up falling asleep because that's the only way I'm going to stay out of my own way. Not when I'm channeling, um, but when I'm receiving healing. Um, and so Mary Ellen said, so true. So nice to see that. Um, so this particular blend, release your story blend um, is really specific when you are trying to cut cords with other people um, and trying to release something really toxic out of your life. Um, and so at one point, all of a sudden, I could feel cords tugging in all sorts of directions. So I had to put it on um, to help me to help you <laughs> do the releasing um, because some of you were really just trying to let some big things go, which I'm so proud of you for because um, you know, I love it when people go big or go home, <laughs> um, because, you know, you've got a chance to change your life. Why not take it? Um, and that's what we can do. So, um, Kimberly said, oh yes, lots of cords released so easily this time and so easily filled with light. Yeah. They, the, the really good thing is that, um, it just can happen really quickly. Um, Mary Ellen said, how do you use the blends? Perfect question. Um, most of the blends you just put on your wrists. Um, you cross your wrists and you hold them um, crossed. You close the circuit with your heart. So it actually allows your um, heart to diffuse the, the 
the blend throughout your system anywhere it needs to go. Um, sometimes if you know where it's located, um, like when I was doing releasing this weekend, I felt some that were in my heart. I felt some that were in my belly and behind my throat. So I put the oil right there just to give it, um, you know, a quick boost. But in general, you use it on the wrist. Um, if the smell bothers you, you can also use it on the bottoms of your feet because then it's going through um, your root chakra and it's going through um, the, there's a secondary chakra that's, that sits like through the um, soles of the feet. Um, and you can use it there and then you don't have to smell it. Um, I just don't use it there very often because it um, takes a while for it to um, work its way through the energy system. When the heart does it, it just, it kind of does it like that from the center out. Um, but I have a number of people, especially men who don't, uh, may not like the, the scent of something. Um, so that's how, how you use them. Um, <laughs> oh, give us the beat, Joe, and clear our soul. We want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Oh, thank you. I used to be a dance teacher, Rob. I don't know if you knew that about me, but I, I, I taught dance um, for, geez, over 30 years. Um, and that was my passion for a long time. So I still have a lot of music in me. So you're welcome, Mary Ellen. Um, so as we sort of get here toward the close of our hour, we have a little bit of time left. Um, you can do all sorts of things to clear your energy body. And believe it or not, cleaning your house is one of those things that will help you clear your energy as well because our environment is a reflection of how we feel inside of us. So when I have moments where I feel stuck or things aren't moving, I kind of look around me and I look for where I've cluttered things up. Um, with my clients, I often send them to do their, um, their closet or their dresser first in their bedroom. Um, and maybe it's for you. It's, you know, you know, you throw, uh, all your mail, your, on your table or something like that. Um, we all have places, you know, sometimes it's not in your house. Maybe it's your car or maybe it's your desk at work. Um, some places we keep our energy really neat and tidy. Other places we start to leak it. Um, and, you know, sometimes we get leaky because we're in the middle of a creative process. That's really different. I'm talking more about um, when we start to get um, a sort of depressed energy where we're getting weighted down by the energy of our environment of that what's going around us, then we start, you know, creating a lot of chaos. Um, so, you know, I can think back to when I was a teenager and I was suffering from a lot of um, post-traumatic stress, depression. Um, my room was a holy nightmare. <laughs> you know, um, it just was just clothes everywhere, stuff everywhere, because I just didn't have any energy within me to even think about cleaning. Um, and so knowing that, um, as you purge energy out of your house, you're actually making room for new energy to come in. That's clearing your energy body too. So um, I always do um, each season at the beginning of the season, I do a purge. Um, I'll go through my closets and I'll go through my, my dishes or like um, I, I love to go through like the plastic wear. If stuff doesn't have a lid or a bottom, you know, I throw it out or um, if it got melted in the dishwasher, <laughs> you know, it's like, stop trying to use that. Just get rid of it. Um, and as I do that, I do it um, at work and I do it at home um, because sometimes the energy at work is what's stuck you know, that you're not able to be creative. Um, I recently moved my desk. So I'm actually broadcasting from a different place because I was broadcasting some 
you know, close to my router, but it was really dark. Um, and so I felt really like I had to work really hard. So I moved myself so I'm more in the light. Um, I'm near my, um, I have a window in front of me. I have my, off to my side, it's the uh, French doors that go out onto my deck. And so all I see is trees all around me. And it allows me to stay grounded. So of course, that's gonna work much better for me. So, um, you know, think about maybe moving your furniture around. Um, that can help with everything as well. And for, you know, your energy system in particular, um, depending on what you need to move, there's, like I said, there's the release your story is the one to cut cords. But um, the energy detox is probably our most popular blend. Um, it's like sage for your energy body. Um, that one you can use on your wrists or on your feet. Um, some people even use it down their spine because sometimes they um, they need to get a spine because, you know, people walk all over them all the time. And so sometimes they need to use it on their spine. And that one even comes in a spray and it also comes in um, salts that you can stick in your bathtub. <laughs> um, and those are great for releasing any energy that you don't want to hold on to. Or if you are somebody who absorbs, you're an empath and you absorb a lot of energy from other people, using that before you go out and using it when you get back um, can allow you to release the energy and not hold on to it. Because um, we don't need to hold on to other people's stuff. We've got enough of our own stuff to hold on to. Thank you very much. Um, so take the opportunity to release it when you get a chance. Um, and. And like I said earlier in the Star Nations article um, that's coming out April 10th in Star Nations magazine, I'm going to have a bunch of tips in there on ways to help your energy body clear. Um, and my goal is to also put up some, some tips in the, um, on the Chakra Sessions page. So if you haven't liked my page yet, do that because I'm going to start to really... Um, Put some information out there for you guys to use because it's about time that you had it. Um, and thank you, Neshi. Uh, Neshi says, how to contact me, Polly Joe, um, is trinityhealingsanctuaries.com. Um, that is where, you know, all of the magic takes place. Um, and you can also, you know, like our Facebook page for Trinity Healing Sanctuary or or also for Trinity School of Mystical Energy Healing, um, because, you know, we all have ways that we're meant to serve our purpose. And we do huge clearings like this, uh, 20 hours of clearing we do every single weekend that um, we are here, six weekends a year. And it is life changing um, and really can put you in attunement to what you're meant to do with your life and how you're meant to live your live your spirit and, and do your purpose. So if that is something that you need help with or you would love to chat with, you know, I am more than willing to do a FaceTime or Skype to have a conversation with you about that as well. So I will see you guys. Uh, and Kimmy, Kimmy's a student, so she said very much so. So she, she would know she's a second year student. Um, I will see you guys next week here on Chakra Sessions. Please love, like, and share this broadcast so that other people can get a taste of what, what I do and how we do things here at Star Nations. And for those of you who are, you know, in this Western Mass area, you can join me tonight live from 6 to 8 as we do a whole ceremony here. Um, we do a ritual burning and everything of our intentions and set, set things going. Um, or you can check me out tomorrow night on Soul Connection from at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, where I channel and do healing and messages um, for the entire hour. So I hope to see you guys soon. And with that, um, I just want to say happy spring. And all of you who are, you know, in weather that it doesn't feel like spring, um, just know that it's blossoming right now and it's coming to um, us shortly. It's really blooming beneath the surface. That's what I keep seeing. So thanks you guys and uh, have a great rest of your week. All right. Bye now. <laughs>